Hi everyone, um, my name is Victor, and today I'm really excited to talk to this group. Um, especially, I'd like to talk about Autogen, which is a framework for building multi-agent AI applications. Importantly, Autogen is a work of contributors across multiple institu institutions, including Microsoft Research, where I work as a software engineer. To begin, I'd like to paint a picture. And so in this picture, imagine a uh, paint a picture of a future um, where AI agents help us with increasingly complex tasks. And so, for example, we might ask an agent to write a novel, um, come up with some sophisticated plan, or help with some supply chain problem. In interestingly, we will probably just give the LLM or the agent a high-level task description, and then the agent figures out how to accomplish the task. In addition, over time, we expect these agents to learn, adapt, become aware of our context, and better help us with tasks. In this future, agents become the new frontier for computing, transforming how we interact with the digital world. But how might this complex task be sort of implemented in practice? And so if we take the last example there, is it possible for Rustry 1 to be exclusively used by Cafe 2? How would that affect overall cost? A few things need to happen. So first of all, we need some sort of plan. And so in this case, we might try to understand the current setup, we might gather some data, clarify assumptions, and then run some financial analysis. Importantly, we also need to act. So for example, we might need to read or summarize documentation, search some databases, consult with some human experts or subject matter experts, and then run some computation. And after all of that, we need to orchestrate communication across each of these steps and then get the final report. And so a few things are sort of important here. Um, an agent that can help us with these tasks must be able to reason. So first of all, plan, sort of deduce uh, next steps. They must be able to act. So for example, they must be able to use external tools, query databases. And then finally, they must be able to communicate. And so it, this might be communicating with other agents or communicating with humans to sort of get feedback. But is a single agent sufficient for this sort of complex tasks? And the core argument here is that as we sort of try to address more complex tasks, we might need to shift from just LLMs up down to, let's say, groups of LLMs. And so we're currently, the current paradigm is that we can apply LLMs to reason and solve tasks. However, we're all familiar with the fact that LLMs tend to hallucinate, or they might struggle with tasks that require multi-step reasoning. To address that, we might give this LLM access to some sort of memory or external knowledge to reduce hallucination or we might give it access to a computer calculator to sort of help it uh, sort of address uh, complex tasks, like, let's say, computation. Importantly, um, we will notice that as we address more complex tasks, this task might require multiple back and forths, require complex lengthy instructions, and at that point, a single agent might start to struggle. And then finally, um, the current uh, thinking is that we can start to assemble groups of agents. And the idea is that if we have this sort of multi-agent approach, we have separation of concerns where each agent can ex address a specific goal leading to improved results. Some prior recent research shows that like a multi-agent setup can help with divergent thinking, um, improve factuality and reasoning, and also provide validation. So in some cases, some agents sort of address the task, and some additional agents sort of verify the task was addressed correctly. OK, so in practice, the promise, in theory, the promise of multi-agent implementation is, is very interesting, is very promising, but the implementation is hard. So how do we specify agents? How do we give them access to tools and LLMs? How do we orchestrate communication between agents and humans and get them to work together as a group to solve a task? And then how do we sort of make all of the participants in this loop aware of each, each action? And Autogen was designed to sort of solve this problem. So there are three high-level properties of Autogen. So first of all, we have a conversational paradigm. So we sort of believe that the primary way to sort of orchestrate sharing of state among all of, a, all of these agents is sort of maintain a shared um, message history and message lists as, as represented as a chat. And in addition, we want to offer a flexible API that's easy to use, um, enables communication across multiple agents and humans uh, within the loop, and then make this workflow or API really customizable that we can support simple workflows and then complex workflows. And then finally, uh, we, want, we aim to have like a vibrant, growing ecosystem of integrations. And I'll show some examples in a little while. 
In terms of API, um, each agent has a simple interface. It can send messages, which is essentially uh, putting in a message into a shared message list. It can receive messages, and then it has an API to sort of act or reply based on the messages it, re it receives. Next, we have three built-in agents, one called the user proxy agent, typically will act um, on behalf of the user and can use tools like, let's say, a compiler. We can also have an assistant agent that has an LLM configured to try to solve problems uh, by writing Python code. And then finally, a group chat manager that can orchestrate groups of agents to solve our problems. The API is fairly simple. And so on the left, how might we sort of set up a two agent setup? On the left, we have just a simple line of code where we set up a user proxy agent and then an assistant agent, and we just initiate a chat between both of them. In this case, we ask them to plot a chart to show stock price. And what ends up happening is that um, the user proxy says, here's what the user asked for. The assistant agents write some code. Um, the user proxy executes that code. Some error occurs. Uh, the assistant deduces that, OK, some error has occurred. Here's some additional code to fix that, which is to install some dependency. The plot gets, plot, uh, gets generated. Some corrections are made. And then the final output is given to the user. <coughs> So that was a simple setup, but we can orchestrate these agents into much more complex setups. And so one of the interesting examples is the example A4, where we could have a group setup where some agents write code, and additional agents might work as some sort of safeguard and sort of critique or ensure that like the code that has been written adheres to some security constraints. Finally, I'd like to talk about uh, the set of uh, integrations that we're sort of uh, seeing with the origin ecosystem. So for example, we have support for multimodal agents. And so you can imagine a setup where um, one agent writes code to generate visualizations, and another agent could be a visualization critic that takes the chart that has been generated, sort of looks at the visual quality of those charts, looks for overplotting, uh, combined axis, gives feedback, and then both of them collaborate to get uh, even uh, much better outcomes for the user. We have examples of teachable agents that continuously learn facts, preferences, and skills from user feedback, saving them and using them in other related tasks. And finally, um, we're even looking at like examples, low-code interfaces that allow users to, for example, declaratively specify an agent. And so in this case, specify the maximum number of turns, the models that are used, and then run tasks against this declaratively specified agent and then look at the output. So in this case, we have um, four messages exchanged by the agents, and then they can generate um, a chart that can be reviewed. We can also give these agents access to skills. For example, ability to use APIs, generate images. And then we can even tell them to do things like go ahead and generate a whole entire book. And the agents will sort of interact. In this case, 12 messages took about three minutes. So we asked the agents to generate a children's book and, and so essentially use the image generation API and generated a, an entire book. And so these are some example experiences that we are starting to see users and our team sort of prototype using a framework like Autogen. Autogen sort of started out uh, in March this year. Um, we open sourced it in October this year. And in the last two months, we've seen quite a bit of growth. Um, we've seen about 18,000 stars on GitHub. Um, about 150 active contributors, um, 11,000 members on GitHub, uh, on Discord. And frankly, I, in my opinion, we're just getting started. There are a lot of open problems that sort of um, are, are yet to be addressed. So for example, how do we improve communication efficiency across agents? How do we integrate multiple models and optimize for cost? How do we streamline more complex, long-running workflows? And so we hope that um, you'll join us. Um, Autogen is an open source project, um, MIT licensed. Um, like I mentioned, it's growing. Um, and we're just getting started. And we'll definitely benefit from um, your help and your contributions. Thank you. <laughs>